Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to sanitize the freshwater tank on a Coachman Beyond. Now we have the a 2020 model. It's a 22C. Ours is actually a CEB because the engine's the Echo Boost, but a 22C. And a 22D would also be done the same way. The 22RB is different for the locations of things. But the first thing you need to do is to bypass the Truma water heater, the Truma Combi, because you don't want uh, bleach to go in it. Uh, if bleach gets in there, it's not bad at that point, but when you turn on the heater and it heats the bleach up, that's when you have problems. So the best way to avoid that is to completely avoid any bleach at all getting into the Truma Combi. So in order to do that, the first thing we have to do is to, to, to get to it. So we have to take this drawer out, and I just want to show you how you get the drawer out. This is actually the bottom of the drawer, but there are these two little blue levers here. And you squeeze these levers like this, and it disconnects from the track. But while I'm here, I wanted to show you something else. This is a Coachman drawer. Look at this. These are screwed in. These, right, these little brackets, they're not just stapled in, they're actually screwed in which is really nice. So while I have the drawer out, I just thought I'd show you that. Plus, dovetail joints. Look at that, dovetails, not staples. This is, a, this is a quality drawer and it's heavy. So since I've got the drawer out, now I can show you how to bypass the water heater. So let's go take a look at that. So this is inside the cabinet. This is the combo water heater, the Truma Combi. The blue lines are cold water. The red lines are hot water. You can see the blue comes in on this line right here. There's an L here where it comes back a U-turn, and there's a valve. Where does it come in at again? I don't think I see it. It's this blue line, this water right here. This is the, this is the input. Okay. This, this blue right here is the input. And as it comes in, see it turns in right there to the water heater. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this little valve right here, when it's in line, water flows through it. So you turn it like this. It's now cross the line. When it's crosses, it's kind of like putting a dam up. So it means stop, no water. That's the water going in. The red one over here, that's the water coming out, the hot water. So you have to turn that off. But now, if you turn on that water faucet for the hot side, nothing will come out. But this white hose right here, this is the bypass. So this lever right here, you turn it in line so the water flows. So now the water comes through this blue line, comes into here, flows through there, and it goes into the hot line where would the output of the water heater would normally be. So now we have the water heater bypassed. This is very important because you do not want bleach to get inside the Truma water heater. Now the next step is we have to put some bleach into the freshwater tank and that, that will do that outside, so hold on. All right, so now that I have the, the uh, Truma Combi bypassed, we want to introduce some bleach. So it's a tank holds like 30 gallons of fresh. So in this bottle, I have some bleach. I have right about here, it's a half a cup of bleach and the rest is water. I have my hose. My hose is hooked up to the back to the uh, fresh water connection. It's on the, on the van back there on the fresh water connection. So now, I'm, and also since I'm going to be hooking the van up to water pressure, I also use a uh, pressure regulator. I'll put that on in a second. But first I need to get the, the, this bleach mixture into the hose because the easiest way to get it into there is by putting it in the hose. Which also kind of just runs a little bit of bleach through the water line too, which kind of gives it a little bit of a um, sanitizing. And this is bleach that has been diluted. I wouldn't be doing this with pure bleach. So it's best to have it diluted. Just in case it splashes and stuff. And now make sure that this goes in the trash because you don't want anybody drinking out of it thinking it's an empty water bottle. I'll get that in a minute. 
But first, let's do this. Here's my pressure filter, I mean my uh, pressure regulator. I'll put that on here. And keeping this elevated so that the bleach doesn't come out. It should all be down there in the ground, though. Okay, so now we'll turn on the water. And we're starting to fill the freshwater tank on the RV. So let's come inside and take a look. I did have a little bit in there already. I was at 20%. Nice thing, another nice thing about the uh, Coach from Beyonds uh, and the Galleries too is with the new system it goes in increments of 5%. So your gray tank would say 5, 10, 15 on up. Same with the black tank and the fresh tank. So this will take a few minutes and once it's full then the next step will do that. We're at 90% right now. Okay, oh, and we're full. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Okay, so now we're inside. We want to turn the water pump on. When the light's bright blue, it's on. And when it's grayed out, it's off. So we turn that on. Come to the kitchen sink. Turn the cold water on. And let it run until you can smell some bleach. Okay, there we go. And now the same thing with the hot water. We'll let that run. Okay. All right. So the sink is done. Now we come into the restroom or the bathroom or the head or whatever you want to call it. And you have two things in here. You have the sink and the toilet. So first thing is we'll do, we'll turn on the hot water. All right. And then just run the toilet now. And they had no water, so. It's always good to leave water in your black tank too, so it doesn't dry out. You know, if you're not using the RV a lot, it's, uh, it's good to keep it maybe quarter full, you know, just so that you have moist water down there. All right, so that take care of that. Then let's see, what's just by a chance all that water running? <laughs> I used up 15% of the water. Pretty amazing. We got one more thing to do, and that's the outside shower. Somebody had mentioned one time what they what do they use these little cubby holes up here for? Well, in my situation, I have my dog bones. So if I hook up the power, I need that. But I also keep my outside shower here. I also have an electronic roadside flare too. But there's my water hose for the shower. And the one that says spray port. Okay, so it's on. And it seems to be leaking a little bit. I need to take a wrench and tighten that up some. Okay, but we do have bleachy water in here now. So, I'm going to spray it here. It's a double, a double whammy because this is my uh, black station dump port right here. So this is all the first step in sanitizing the RV. We're going to let it sit overnight and in the morning or tomorrow afternoon I'll come out and I will open up the freshwater tank and let it drain and then we'll fill it back up some and run fresh water out. So that'll be in the next part of the video, so stand by. Okay, so the tank sat overnight with the bleachy water in it, and what I need to do now is to rinse out the fresh tank. So I'm gonna hook this up to the fresh tank. I changed my stickers on here. They're much more stealthier looking, but it does say fresh. So that's my fresh water, that's my city water, and that's my black tank flush. Okay, so that's good. So now we're gonna just screw this on. Because I'm gonna run city water in there. And I have this connected to my house spigot with a pressure regulator on it. And we're gonna to have to flush this out too. But in the meantime, I need to go 
under the van. And drain the fresh tank. Okay, so right down here is a little one of those valves. When it's crossways, it's turned off, and when you make it parallel, it's open. So this is the fresh tank, it's full of bleachy water. So there we go. Now this is this is gonna take a while. That's gonna take a while to drain. Because it's 30 gallons coming through that little hose that little filling fitting right there and without any pressure behind it so this is probably going to be a 20 minute drain or so so just to kind of speed things up in the meantime I'm gonna go in the kitchen and I'm gonna run water through the sink into the gray tank and then I'll flush my gray tank out too so let's go inside okay so right now I'm at 70 percent fresh tank like I said it's gonna take a while so I'm gonna turn on the water pump and I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna run water through the cold water pipes. Just to run that for a while. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna let the water pump rest for a few minutes. But we'll come back when this is empty and then I'll show you the next steps. So hold on. Okay, so my fresh water tank is now empty. So we're gonna go outside, we're gonna close the valve and we're gonna fill the fresh tank again. So let's go. Since I drained out 30 gallons of bleachy water right here, I'm going to move my van forward, which will also get my uh, solar panels out in the sun. There's still a little bit of water in this tank because the place where it comes out is above the bottom. So we're just going to turn this off, close that valve, and now I'll put some fresh water in the tank. And I'm going to hook my hose back up to my, my fresh water connection. Okay, fresh water connection, city water connection. And that's it for now. We're gonna put some water in the tank. And then, uh, I might even just, instead of filling the tank all the way up and wasting a lot of water, I'm gonna put it in about 25% or so, 30%, and then we're gonna go for a drive and just kind of slosh it around in there. But in the meantime, I'm also gonna put some more water through my water pump into the, uh, Great tank. So we could go downtown and get a pizza. Yeah, let's do that. I thought we'd walk because I like to walk here, but we could drive downtown. Yeah, we'll do that. Get spike and yeah. Okay. Something to eat. Well, I'm gonna fill this up with some water now. Like I said, I get 25 percent or so. That'll just give it enough that it can wash the walls down inside the tank, and then um, we'll drain it out, and then I'll do the same thing again because you want to get all the bleachy stuff out of there. And uh, especially because once I, once I unbypass the water heater, I don't want to have any bleachy water going into the uh, water heater. The next time I do this, I'm going to try it different. I'm going to try using vinegar. But the problem with vinegar is I got to use a lot of vinegar. It's like a 50-50 solution. And I have to have some way of getting, I'd probably put, um, I don't know, probably 10 gallons in here. So I'd probably have to have 10, five gallons of, of uh, vinegar and five gallons of water. And I'll have to have a way of getting in here. It's, it's not a gravity fill. So I'll have to have some way of pumping it into my uh, freshwater tank, which can be done. I'll just have to figure out how to do it. I have ideas. Because yeah. you have to really rinse this more than just one time, because we've gone out before in previous vans and you didn't rinse the bleach water out enough enough and everything that came through the taps smelled like bleach yeah. so if you're washing your hands or washing your face or even maybe uh cooking some with it we do some cooking with the water from the tanks like boiling it for maybe spaghetti noodles or something yeah. like that it'll, it still smells bleachy it'll take a couple of four four or five tank it should, bowls yeah to get that done but that that's going to take a bit of water to do so do this at home, you know, and also if, if it's just your gray tank, you know, and you're not opening up your black tank, if you're just putting water into your gray tank, you know, depends where you, where you live, how you get rid of it. Luckily for me, I have a dump into my, uh, I have a hook up here, but otherwise you could 
you know, just drain it out into the to your yard somewhere if, if you had to, because you are just putting basically bleachy water in there. You're not putting a lot of other stuff in there. So let's go inside and see how it looks now. We're at 35% fresh now. So we'll go out there and turn off the hose. But in the meantime, I'm just going to run some of this water through the through the through the pan. Turn that on, and uh, I'm gonna go outside and turn off the faucet. May I turn on the bathroom faucet? I'm gonna run the hot and cold because the water heater is bypassed still, mm -hmm. and this will just kind of flush out some of that water in those lines, just in case it's kind of mixed in there. Okay, so I just I just got home from our little drive around. I had uh, about 30% of water in there just sloshing around, kind of rinsed down the, the uh, walls of the tank. And I opened up the valve out here and I'm letting the, the water drain out. And on the tank, like if this is the tank, in the bottom of the tank, the hole where it comes out is like right here. So there's always this little bit of water underneath it that doesn't drain out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll fill it back up with about this much water Say this is the whole tank, you know. So about maybe 10% water. I'll drain that out, and that'll dilute that. I'll fill it back up to here again. That'll that'll dilute it some more. I'll drain it out. I'll fill it back up again. And that's why I also run the water through the uh, the sinks at the same time. So eventually, that little bit of water that has bleach in it will be fine. It'll be diluted each time I do that. So if it's there, it's a 10% solution I fill it back up it's now like a what a one percent solution or so it, it just keeps getting smaller and smaller amounts until eventually there's no uh, bleach left in the freshwater tank okay so now I'm in the final stages of my uh, you know, sanitizing the freshwater system so the first thing I'm gonna do is on this white hose I'm going to turn this valve handle back so that it's crossways against the hose. That means that the bypass is no longer functional. And then on this red hose right here, I'm going to turn it so that the handle's in line with the red hose, the red pipe. That means that the hot water coming, the water can come out of the water heater. And then down here, this blue one. I'm going to turn it so that it's in line. So what that means now is that the water can come from the water pump through this blue line, through this valve right here, that, that valve that turns it off, and it goes into the water heater. It gets heated, it comes out of the water heater, and right up here, and it comes through here, and, and there it goes into the, to the main lines of the system. And there is a blow-off valve down here too that you can drain everything with. I don't know if you can see that or not. I see it. Just come a little bit further over. I see it. Yeah, you put a fitting on it. No, it's got a little a yellow lever. You flip that little yellow lever. Yeah. And you can drain the water. Right from there. Uh huh. Gosh. Just like that. What would you drain it into? <laughs> it just goes out the bottom of the van. Oh, okay. I yeah. can't see that from here. It yeah, goes so out the bottom of mm -hmm. the van there. Yeah, so that's how you flush that, okay. that right there. I thought it just there. went into the van under the cabinet heater, but it goes yeah. out. Yeah, it goes out the bottom. Oh, so that's okay. that. That's cool. So that's how you you can drain. When you, want to, when you want to winterize this, that's how you drain it. You turn all this off and you open that little valve, which is like that. Mm -hmm. Oops. See like that? Yes, it's open. Uh -huh. And now I closed it, so it'll stop yeah. draining. Okay. So there it is. Then uh, I put the drawer back in on the rails. It just sits in there. You put these out and you stick them on there and uh, drop it on there. It locks in place. And we're done. We're done with the uh, sanitizing of the water system. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a remark in the video and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye.